the movie all about um uh like uh, lo- uh loving someone so much that you have to let them go Aww. and then spending a lifetime just loving them and watching them blossom but finally getting the chance to like say your feelings and take the leap and open you know being able to change your life it's pretty cool uh so the music's really good and there's this one part where the kinkachu helps uh this spoonbill they go into the everglades and there's this spoonbill bird i forget the official name but you know it's got like the big long beak and at the end it's like a spoon so they like dig in the in the sand mm-hmm. in the marsh and uh anyway vivo helps him finally talk to his love valentina who's Aww. they've been he's been trying to court her from afar and he feels like his life is over and it's not worth living because he can't be with his love and anyway and then he sings this song he he helped they fall in love and he helps vivo get this on his quest it's really cool and anyway the song is called um love always lifts you up Aww. love always lifts you up it never lets you down and i just thought that line just really stuck with me and i thought that was a nice meditative I love chant it. just yeah Love always lifts you up and never lets you down. Love always lifts you up. Yes. Cool. How's the song go? Love always lifts you up and never lets you down. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I've just figured out that part. It's like a um, it's a slow song with like a '90s beat. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Love always lifts you up and never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up and never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up. It never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up and never pulls you down. So, of course, I, I haven't sang much today, so that's taken it down probably like five, five octaves. <laughs> but it's really cool. There's like big choirs and it's a bit, it's just a big song. It's really, really pretty. So that's a very toned down, extremely mellow. You want to do it again? Right? Just, you want to just keep rocking with it? Like, yeah. The beauty of Kirtan is we just always, like, you just chant it. You just keep repeating over and over again. What a beautiful yeah. message. To, do you have any shakers or drums? Um, I kind of do. I have these little lotus buds nice cool that's awesome all right and i've got my i'll try to play this at the same time (laughs) all right here we go love always lifts you up never pulls you down love always lifts you up never pulls you down Love always lifts you up, never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up, never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up, never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up, never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up, never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up and never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up, never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up and 
never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up and never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up and never pulls you down. Love always lifts you up and never pulls you down.
I feel like that brought your energy down tonight, though. I feel like now we need to, like, ramp it up. Okay, what do you want to do about that, Miss Summer? Well, you, you need to... <laughs> what do you... What was the... Let's do the one you were doing. The Ram Dass Sita. Yeah. Um, um, do we get in trouble for singing that? Uh, I don't think so. Probably That's good. Trouble for playing it on my Instagram and on my YouTube, but I mean, if more people know about Ram Das, the better. I'm sure he would like that. I love your Lotus Shakers. That is really cool. Isn't it awesome? Did you mean to do that, or were they just sort of hanging out? I mean, they're just like part of the decoration on my table. It's amazing. I love yeah. that. <laughs> oh. I'm a weird witch, so I just keep stuff forever, and it dries <laughs> out, and it turns into rabbles. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to, like, also still keep this on Instagram. There we go. Okay. All right, so you want to do a happy one? I mean, I don't, I'm not feeling, like, tremendous resonance with the Ram Dass one, but maybe, um... <clears throat> It was the Wahe Guru one. It was like the first one that you were singing with. Sure. Last that day. Yeah. And we can just close it out. Cool. So Wahe Guru. I love it. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. What's up? I love the harmony. Oh. <laughs> You want to leave it and I'll chime in since you got this. Oh, no, go ahead. Okay. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe supreme teacher sorry i couldn't find the right instrument for that song tonight so i feel like i was fiddling the whole time i think the love song and oh, just our love for one another is uh palpable so who gives a fern here muffs <laughs> nobody awake on my end <laughs> ain't no kids around here they all outside Oh, um, I hear place. I'm like, not here. Yeah, like the neighborhood kids, they're all like, hello. Oh my God, they're so cute. They're always like, hello, <laughs> hello, hello. Oh. Hello, hello. <laughs> well, thanks so much, babe. 
Goddess, musician, master. Music oh my goodness. Fantasy, mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a lot. Fantasy music. What? Thanks so much for being here, for joining me. Absolutely. Yeah. You and your amazing lotus shakers. My goodness. Seriously. You want to tell anybody, tell everybody about who you are and what you do and what you, where they can find you? Sure. Um, so my name is Crystal Murphy and I um, teach children's music. Um, and when I say that it's for young children, so um, it's not instruments yet. It's like music and movement, which is teaching them kind of how to move their bodies, how to build coordination, um, and then uh, how to listen, how to follow directions, how to make shapes, all those kind of basic life skills um, in, with, through music and fun. I call it ninja teaching uh, <laughs> because they don't know they're learning uh, <laughs> because it's so fun and it's so silly and it's so active. Um, you so shake your sillies, right? Yeah. Shake your, it's the, it's the name of my program, the shake your sillies program. Yeah. And, um, I have classes for, uh, virtually and in person now. Um, but the virtual classes, I have the family class, which is for everybody to do together. So the class is designed for more than one person. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I have sing-alongs where the kids can request music for me to play. I have an online songbook, or yeah. I always ask them to request new songs so I can build my songbook, uh, introduce music that's in the now, the spirit of the times. Um, <laughs> and yes, I know Baby Shark. <laughs> I heart. <laughs> that one stuck around a long time. <laughs> it was a right song. Um, song yeah yep I have written a lot of songs uh for kids and honestly it came about because of COVID and having to go virtual um and being unable to use copyrighted music um for the fear of either my account being disabled or being muted and you can't teach kids if you're being muted so <laughs> I had to so if I wanted a scarf song I couldn't use the one I normally did when I was in person. So I had to make one so that I had my own song. So I've got tons of songs. Mm -hmm. I've got freeze dances, scarf songs. I've got, I just created a ribbon cha-cha song. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've got, and then I've got songs that are, you know, outside of the class. My, my daughter just, she said, mommy, make a poop song. So I said, challenge accepted. And <laughs> <laughs> so I've got the poop song and I've got songs that the kids have helped me write. Um, I actually have songwriting classes where they get to build a story and I turn the story into a song. So my latest one call is called it's summertime. And the kids built this story about a pirate who steals ladybug wings uh, and from their treasure box That's and true. tries to go bury it. Uh, but the little, the, the only thing on the island that he had to use to bury it was this little toy shovel and the toy shovel was magical. So the toy shovel like sang this enchanted melody across the sea and the ladybugs heard it and came and got their treasure wow. and trapped the pirate on an island for 100 years. They were very specific. <laughs> but I had a concert recently um, and I was able to sing that for the first time at this concert. It was really cool. Oh my gosh. And the people, the kids that were in the audience had taken part in writing it. Like it Actually, very none of them were able to make it. None of them oh, were able okay. to make it, which is unfortunate. A, a lot of them because it's still virtual are not doing in person yet. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I did sing it to them in the next class. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so they God. got to hear it. And then their yeah. song got to be like shared with other kids. Yeah. Like they're famous now. You're making kids famous. Yeah. And all of them are recorded. So I, I take it to the studio and I record it professionally. And then I um, release it to them, to anybody for a free download. What's your, so. what's your studio? You have a studio, you have a recording studio? Well, Nick, mm -hmm. my professional sound engineer husband. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Bodoc Records. That's so cool. Um, yeah. So there's um, several songs uh, that people can download and the kids can like listen to it in their car. 
like when they're driving, like a song they helped to write. It's pretty cool. Yeah, their own songs that they wrote. They're yeah, so cool. it's neat. Do you know? They, um, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, and then you know they get to learn on how to how to build a story too. They get to learn what are characters, what are actions, the setting, um, the flow of a story, the beginning, the end, things like that. Which Cassidy started to learn in kindergarten, but it kind of gives them a jump start now that was a class with like four-year-olds kind of like a three to four-year-old class yeah. yeah it's pretty cool story writing storytelling singing like those are just so many synapses that the brain is firing on to to help them with learning this is incredible yeah I absolutely yeah and they don't realize that that's what i love is they it doesn't feel like school or it doesn't feel like they're going somewhere to learn something they're just coming to have fun you're like write an essay they'd be like uh ah, no thanks you're like what the yeah. song? okay <laughs> what should we sing about uh yeah. monsters whatever you know like how freaking right. cool i love this yeah. so much thanks. i also just want to let everyone know that if you're if you're okay with do you want to say anything else about what you do oh well um on the other side of that i do teach um ukulele is my main instrument that i play uh, in within my classes. And so I do teach children um, starting at age six all the way through as old as you can be to still be able to use your hands accurately. Um, I think I've taught up to 85 years old before. Um, mm -hmm. Ukulele lessons. I do group lessons. I do workshops. I do private lessons, uh, concerts. I run the community group. Um, so anything ukulele related uh yeah so if you ever want to learn the ukulele <laughs> crystalmurphymusic.com or bodocrecords.com heck yeah uh, murphymusicgroup.com yeah amazing thank you thanks for letting me chat yeah. thank you um yeah so crystal's amazing Reach out to her if you want music, musicality in your life, lots of love, huge heart. And she's also going to be helping me and on my um, Facebook account, uh, Love It Yoga, there is a private group, it's a members only section called Restore and Love Yourself with Beth. And in that group, I offer a lot of self love tools for loving yourself. And one of them that's coming up is a joy shop on rewriting your own self love song. So we take a song that really resonates with you. That could be really any song. It doesn't even have to be like technically a love song, but you, one that like gets stuck in your head and you have it on repeat or one that you play when you're like heartbroken or forlorn. And we, re we rewrite the lyrics so that you can then use it as an empowerment tool to sing it for what you do want to call in, the love that you have for yourself. I find that a lot of love songs outsource love or externalize it so that you're actually, you know, often crying or upset about like, you left me, I can't live, if living is without you. What about, I can't live if living is without me or something along those lines to help empower people to turn the love into onto themselves and be their own source of love as opposed to relying on others. And Crystal is so graciously and willingly going to be able to write the music for our self-love ballads because we can't really use, a, you know, original soundtracks but she'll then record it in Bodoc Records Studio and you'll have your own self-love power ballad <laughs> with, if you wanna join us in the singing, totally possible. If you want it to just be our beautiful voices and I have some other people lined up also that might be willing to sing your power ballad for you so you can pick all of these different elements. Uh, so that's just something to look forward to and reach out to to me if you're interested in that. And yeah, if you wanna find more of these awesome self-love tools. And I also use yoga and meditation as tools to help empower people to love themselves more fully. 
I'm a holistic coach and an intuition master driver, witchy power, whatever. So keep watching this channel for lots of self-love tools. And if you have any questions, please just send me a message. Anything is possible. As Marie Forleo says, everything is figure outable. So let's figure it out. <laughs> I love you so much, Crystal. Thank you so much for being here. Everybody I love you. Thank you. <laughs> let's all give ourselves a big self-love hug to close out for today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good place for us to close or anything else you want to add nope just that you're amazing you're amazing too i love you so much i love you Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> stopping the live stream